doesn't work out well. This video is example number one. It puts a knife-wielding shoplifter in a sleeper hold. Luckily, only the thief was hurt. Joining us now from Philadelphia is the owner of Tom's Music Trade, Tom Ampton. Good to have you here. Good Philly boy, that's why. Yeah, nice that's morning, right. Tom. Okay, so tell us a little bit about the way this guy was acting, because I understand he was at your store for quite a while before, you know, the you-know-what went down. Yeah, he was, um, he was in there a couple of hours. He was just acting erratic. He was, uh... He was muttering to himself, you know, he was throwing CDs around, he was just acting real strange, you know, and, um, yeah, so uh, when he came to pay a couple of hours later, I, I noticed he had a bunch of CDs in his back pocket. A couple of hours later. <laughs> so he came up to pay, yeah. and then how did, yeah. the, how did the fight then break out? He came up to pay with the CDs in his well, back pocket. Well, I, I, I walked around the counter and, um, and asked him for the CDs back, and... Um, he said he didn't have any, so I put my hand in his pocket and pulled them out and said, yes, you do, you know. Um, and then uh, he, he tried to leave the store. I, I stopped him from leaving the store, and I went to check him again to see if he had anything else, and that's when he pulled the knife out. Oh, so how would you compare this? You're a cage yeah. fighter. How would you compare this to other people you fought? Uh, I, well, the, most of them don't have a knife, so, yeah, I, I, it, it, it's, it's a lot different. Were you, were you scared? Were you worried at all? I mean, you seemed like you were pretty much in control yeah, there. Yeah, I, I was. It was I just, uh, it was all on instinct, you know. I was, I was more scared as the day went on after everything had happened. Uh, you know, just thinking back what could have happened was kind of what freaked me out more than anything, you know. Well, also, big, pretty scary. <laughs> big headline here is that you had, a, your little daughter was behind the counter as well. She was playing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it, my uh, my twelve year old daughter was was she was only a couple of feet away from when um, we actually got the knife off the guy. She was right there, seeing the whole thing. So yeah, it was yeah yeah. She, you know, the knife. My friend Joe prized the knife out of the guy's hand while I was holding him, and uh, but he was a, a foot or two away from my daughter. Yeah. Good for you. You did uh, obviously you did the right thing, but also a heroic thing. How did the police respond when they came? Um, they just put him in handcuffs um, and uh, took him out, so it wasn't much of a big deal. I, actually, I had customers in the store, and I kept the store open, so I was trying to, I was holding this guy for the police and still trying to do, like, record sales at the same time. So. <laughs> you, you're still ringing people yeah. up while you got this guy? Hold on, I got this guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Be well, you are truly <laughs> a capitalist. Well, <laughs> to America. We welcome you. How do you feel with all this That's attention it. you're getting, all this media attention? It's been crazy. The last week's been absolutely crazy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Philly Pride. See, when people knock my home city of Philadelphia, this is the type of guy yes. out there representing you. Thanks so much. Uh, thanks so much, Tom. Have a Merry Christmas to you and the family. Uh, you too. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Tom. Okay, right. bye. Coming up, Nancy Pelosi.